going to show you how to paint a pebble dash wall. You might think this is a difficult job, but it's easier than you think. And here's what we need to do the job. Masonry paint. Masonry paint brush. Long pile roller and tray. Masking tape. Detergent or sugar soap. Dust sheet. And optional extras. Fungicidal wash. Stabilizing solution. And exterior filler. If the surface is very bad, you may have to wash it down first with some sugar soap to remove any dirt or grease. Remove any flaking paint and treat any areas affected by mildew or moss with a fungicidal wash. It's a good idea at this stage to repair any minor defects with an appropriate exterior filler. Surfaces that remain powdery and chalky after preparation should be sealed with a coat of stabilizing primer. Lay down dust sheets under the area you'll be painting to prevent paint splatters. Protect any doors and windows with dust sheets and cardboard. And hold in place with masking tape. You can use a brush or roller when painting pebble dash masonry. Make sure the brush you are using is a proper masonry brush which will hold more paint and allow you to get into all the areas. Using a masonry brush, cut in around all the edges first. For example, gutters, windows and door frames. Start at the top and work your way down. You can allow the paint to overlap onto the window and door reveals by about 30mm if you're planning to paint them afterwards. And a little tip before we start, never look at the whole wall, break it down into sections. Start the section and finish the section before moving on to the next. And always dampen your roller as it helps to take to the paint better. Use a roller to paint the rest of the wall. Your roller should have a long pile to get into the little pebble dashed areas. Start at the bottom and work upwards, making sure to fully cover the area you're working on. Touch up any spots that the roller can't get at with a masonry brush. Continue in this way until the wall is fully painted. The normal finishing process is two full coats of masonry paint, but on previously painted surfaces in good condition one coat may be enough. Now there you go, that's how you paint a pebble dash wall. You may need a second coat, but decide that after the first coat is dry. For more helpful hints and tips, go to woodiesdiy.com.